Hey, welcome to a new episode. You may ask what what this role is all about. It's a, a strip of uh, rubber that's UV resistant, uh, oil resistant, uh, acid resistant, gold resistant, hot resistant, and it can sustain heavy loads. And what's it about? In a couple of seconds. Somewhere back when I started building, it was... Oh my god, I can't even remember when I did this. Uh, it's a lot of kilograms. So, uh, way back uh, when the, even the walls were uh, uh, put up, I needed to put down uh, this part. Here is concrete, here is concrete, and uh, between this is sandwiched uh, the foam. That will uh, be as a barrier. But uh, do not, uh, on the, between the building steps, not to uh, kill off the foam, uh, I laid down uh, uh, modified bitumen uh, strips. It held up quite nicely. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it has seen some days. But the final product I want to get. Rubber. So I'm going to uh, cut it into the right size and uh, glue it down here, and this will act as the barrier uh, from the outside to the inside. Uh, you can drive over uh, with your car uh, with this, and yeah. How I'm going to do this all, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to do this, uh, the garage door, the last, as it's uh, going to have the most load and it needs to be the most accurately done. So I'm starting with the uh, south side of the building, the south side door first. I can make there the most mistakes. Then the north side door, that's important because the, it's on the north side. And the, the carriage door will be done the last. And this will be the most important uh, one because the door itself is not is the weakest link in my build. And I want to give this the most attention I can. As you can see, I, I'm going to tape this, I'm going to tape the outside, I'm going to tape this side. <sighs> yeah, a lot of work will be uh, done here. I already put down this glue uh, for the moisture as when water will hit the, not this side, but uh, there will be uh, outside uh, protection from the uh, outside elements. But if water gets uh, beneath this, it will uh, run down here. Uh, this is my uh, last uh, layer. But uh, the rubber will be glued uh, on top of this, so water should never ever reach that part that I already did. But now, uh, let's start cutting.
Now, this was the first time I ever did this kind of stuff. Uh, one thing is good. It's leveled. It's tilted. And it's tilted the same way, so each side is correct. Uh, now it will be under the load for... I don't know how long this glue will uh, uh, cure, because it's beneath a rubber band that between a modified bitumen, so maybe I'll leave it this way for a week for safekeeping. Uh, but yeah, uh, after the week I will take it apart and cut the excess part, as you can see here is some excess and outside also. And I will cut that off, uh, trim it off to be uh, correct, and yeah, I think it came out uh, better than I hoped. Hopefully it will cure, cure by the time uh, it reaches. Uh, but yeah, this should be a good insulation from the outside to the inside. Yeah, looks nice. So, I'm not going to show you how I'm doing the other two, but I'm happy with this way. Uh, some of you asked uh, uh, why, uh, what kind of uh, materials I used, and uh, uh, this is uh, uh, meant for cla glass and uh, glass and ceramics and metal and wood and so on glue it so it's a really good clue uh, this is uh, sanitary silicone uh, for minus 40 to up to 120 degrees because this isn't rated that high so I use two kinds of materials if one fails the other one won't or vice versa and for the cap uh, filler I used uh, just not ordinary but this is for the windows and doors uh, uh, expansion foam and it's rated for outdoor use and cold climates uh, I just had this lying around because I just finished uh, installing the last window uh, now yeah in the first part, what I did is uh, I tested out some uh, ways to make the joints flexible so the outside looks nice and I got a 90 degree angle and here was one test, second, third, four, five, six or so on and yeah, just used an already router that I had laying around and worked like a charm Ah, the mosquitoes are killing me, but yeah. Like always, stay safe, stay happy, and don't get COVID. See ya, peace, and hearty.